you can have a great day of cooking food and you can have a really, really bad day of cooking food. But like, how do you have just great or really good days all the time, every time? That's that's the grind, that's, um, that's the challenge. My earliest memories as a kid is in Texas watching my grandfather work on the smoker and then knowing that at the end of the day, something good's gonna come out of it. My love of cooking uh, comes from my family um, on my mom's side. Uh, my grandparents and all my aunts and uncles, they all had a love for cooking. We would have huge family gatherings and it was just, I just didn't know any better. And this was like in Southeast Texas, in the middle of like the woods, there was like no restaurants that we would ever go to. There'd always be like 15 people in the house, you know, for like uh, the whole week or, you know, what, whatever we're down there celebrating. You know, I, the older I got, the more I appreciated it and the more I realized that it was a pretty special thing and a unique thing to grow up around. What I like about Texas Style Barbecue is that it lets the the meat sing for itself. We don't do a lot of masking or covering anything up. We, we let the quality of the meat shine through using only salt and pepper rubs, not using a sauce, not injecting, and just allowing the meat to be the star. German and Czech immigrants that own deli shops on the cattle trail had all these off cuts of meat. They didn't know what to do with them, so they had to figure out a way to preserve them, and smoking was a form of preservation. Tradition and barbecue is very important to honor those things, to uh, to not forget them, but also to, to build on them. Even what we do here is, it's not much different than how it's been done for 100 plus years. My career started basically just working in like bar kitchens when I was a teenager. That was when I really first started taking food and cooking seriously and really started thinking like this is what I want to do with my life. I felt like if I did not open up my own restaurant at some point, I failed. That I failed myself and I failed what I was meant to do and what I was wanting to do because I, I truly felt like None of this is worth it if I don't open up my own restaurant at some point. That's a lot of pressure to put on yourself and that was tough. Because sometimes there's there's moments when I've quit kitchens. I've quit a job in a kitchen and just been like, I'm never going back. I was like, this is not me. I can't do this. I, and I, I went right back into a kitchen. One day at work um, at my steakhouse job, out of nowhere, my business partner, just, I get a text and it just says like, I'm looking to uh, open up a barbecue restaurant, would you be interested? And I'm like, hell yeah, of course. I wanted to do barbecue. I didn't want to do fine dining. I didn't want to do some full service style restaurant where like the kitchen's in the back and you don't ever see anybody. and. You know, like, those are great operations and they're fun and I worked the hell out of them, but that's not what I wanted to do. And part of that was because I wanted to get that guest interaction and see it, like, as it happens. Like, there's something to be said to watch, especially if it's their first time and they maybe they've heard about us and, you know, so they're kind of like, 
they have us built up in their head because their friend told them how great it was or something like that. So they're already either they're skeptical or they're like, man, I hope it meets like this expectation I've built in my head. And sometimes you can see that in a person and you sit down and I'll literally, I'll just watch them and I'll wait for them to take like that first bite of brisket or something. And then I'll try to watch their reaction. And sometimes they don't give you anything, but then sometimes they do. And when you see that, like that's, those are the ones I live for. That shit, that shit is fun to watch that. When they just like, like put their head back and close their eyes. I'm just like, boom, we got it. We just wanna do right by Texas. We just wanna respect the style and respect those places and, and kinda of give people a taste of it up here of like, this is like the crazy hard work that's going on down there all the time and all these you know, thousands of barbecue restaurants that are down there. And you know, we just wanna bring a little slice of that up here. The West represents that grittiness. I think you see it in the people, uh, you see it in, in the landscape, in their day-to-day -day lives. I think underneath all that, there's much deeper connection with our surroundings here than I would feel like in other parts of the country. I'm Zach Edge, and this is my West.